This fascinating figure comes from the IPCC. It shows 10,000 years of history, 10,000 years ago on your left up to today in the big panels, and then just since 1750 in the little panels in each case. And it shows it for carbon dioxide on the top, for methane in the middle, and for nitrous oxide on the bottom. These are the main greenhouse gases. They're shown on the left in concentrations. This would be parts per million for CO2 and parts per billion for the methane and nitrous oxide. And over on the other side, it shows radiative forcing. So this is a measure of how much the sun would have to get brighter to have as much warming effect as the greenhouse gas is having. And you'll find that the radiative forcing is biggest for the CO2. That's a one up there, one watt per square meter versus 240 from the sun. Smaller values for the other two. These plots show ice core data from many different ice cores measured in different places by different labs and drilled in different places and so on, and then overlapping with the measurements that have been made in the atmosphere by modern instruments. You'll see because there's so much agreement among the different cores and different labs and so much agreement with the instrumental record, these are highly reliable. And what they show with very, very high confidence is that the greenhouse gas forcing, the greenhouse gases are rising. Other information shows that that rises very clearly from us.